trying to get you to say. And and I guess maybe I'll I'll draw one over here. Um, but uh, so the altitude meets at ninety degrees. Oh, I remember that. Okay, so 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 like, how do you go? Like, like obviously, like this is ninety degrees there, but it doesn't go through B. So it, it has to be something more like so right there. It does something, yeah, something like that. I and that's what they're looking for. They're looking for like the teacher doesn't want to see it anywhere else, but kind of roughly in that spot. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's a problem, you know, making sure you, you actually remember what it is because there were three things we did median altitude and perpendicular bisector. This is probably the most difficult one to do. Um, it requires you to first, so we're now do, doing part B. First thing you have to do is find the slope of A to C. All right, I can do that. So my points are zero, zero, and eight minus four. Okay. So would it be minus four minus zero over eight minus zero? Okay, what does that reduce to? Minus four over eight. Okay, in lowest terms. Two. Yeah, so it's negative one half. Now mm -hmm. that's the slope of AC. We want the perpendicular slope. So How do you get that again? You flip the fraction and then negate it. So they call it opposite reciprocal. So two. Positive two, yeah. So that's the slope of your line. Now they want it through through the point B. Okay. And point B, you have the, uh, it's given as uh, four comma two. Mm -hmm. And they want the line in point slope form. Okay. So that's Y equals MX plus B. Mm -hmm. So do you have the slope? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you remember how to calculate B from this point here? Well, if it's four comma two. Wait, yeah, what, what would I do to get B? So the ordered pair is given in the form X, Y. Yeah. So, so you can put so plug four, in X. four for X and two and for Y and solve for B. Can you try doing that for us, please? Yeah. Would the two still be two y equals, or would it just be two? It replaces the y. Okay. Uh, minus six equals b. Okay, so B equals minus six. So that goes back into this line here. The so Y equals two X minus six is your final answer. I see. And they want it in point slope. So that's why we did it that way. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I, I misread that. Uh, sorry, that's terrible. No, yeah, that's, that's all completely wrong. So well, I just did it in slope intercept form. We didn't have to do that. So point slope form is actually easier. Um, slope is two, the point is four comma two. So point slope form is y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. Yeah, okay, so and, then. Uh, good, good catch, so that's x1 and y1. So could you so, try writing this for us? y minus two equals two parentheses x minus four. There you go. That's perfect. All right. So you got a, you got a little uh, a little extra out of that one. Okay, you ready to move on to part C? Yeah. Which is completely unrelated to A and B, but you know.
I don't, I didn't make this up. <laughs> um, so when we did this, when we did this earlier in the semester, was to write an equation for this. Um, the, the second row is really y. So these are ordered pairs. This is like five comma two. This one is nineteen comma nine. Mm -hmm. 27 comma 13 like that is that okay yeah clear so i suggested we write it in this form y equals mx plus b so first you have to find the slope what points can i can i use like 19 and 9 and 27 and 13 or does it have to be yeah it doesn't matter it doesn't matter which points you use it will give you the same slope go ahead and calculate the slope for it please Four over eight. Okay, in lowest form, lowest lowest terms. Oh, one one half. Okay. So now you're going to write y equals one half x plus b, and you can choose any any of the ordered pairs. You're going to solve for b. To multiply one half times five, would would I just set up five over one and then multiply yep. it? So it's five over one. Yep. You multiply the tops, you multiply the bottoms. So now we have five over two equals five over two plus B. Okay, so you subtract five over two from both sides. Is that equal or negative one half? It's B is negative one half. Got it. All right, so now what is the, so this equation is y equals one half x minus one half, but if they want you to use f of x instead of y, you have to make sure you make that last substitution. Mm -hmm. So the whole equation is y equals one half x minus one half. But you have to change it to f of x. So f of x equals one half. Yes. Okay, got it. Minus one half. Any questions on that? No, I think that whole setup makes sense. Okay, so now you're going to use your equation and you're going to verify you're going to verify this. So you've got your f of x is one half x minus one half. So you're going to put this in for x, 27 in for x, and you should get 13 as the output.
Yeah, 27 over 2. Okay, minus 1 half. Is that 13? Yes. All right, so you verified it. And that's our check, or that's like... That's, I mean, that's what they want you to do. It's a check. Um, you did that a bunch as well. Mm -hmm. All right, and uh, we can move on here. Any other any other thoughts or questions about that? No, we can keep on going. Okay, so we're probably going to get through the next page here. You know, before the end of the lesson. So if you want to send over some other stuff, you're welcome to do that. Um, but uh, let's take a look at number three. All right. Three a. All right. So we we when you excuse me when you first started learning proofs you started with with algebra proof right and um, there there was actually almost like um, I'm gonna move this over here there was almost like a work area there was almost like because what you what you end up doing in the proof is only putting the result you don't yeah. you don't show the work. Um, but you always start with with the given. You always start with exactly what's written, no change to that, and you just say, okay, that's given. All right, now, how do you clear the fraction? It says to clear fractions first. So the only fraction I see is the one half. What can you multiply by to get rid of the one half? Two over one. So you multiply everything by two over one. Now, it's everything, right? everything so sometimes that's you know forget that it's everything so yeah both sides. don't combine anything tell me what the result is when you multiply everything by oh by uh two Four X minus six minus two X minus two equals eight X plus two. So the last one is is not correct. One half times two is you just did a bunch of these. That's one one half times two over one. What does that become? Uh one. Plus one. Oh yeah, plus one. Okay. So the reason or what you did is you you multiply both sides by by two. So you would say uh, um, multiplication property of equality. Multiplication property of equality. So it's basically whatever you did, equality, property of equality. Mm -hmm. Is that clear? Yeah, got that. Okay. So now, again, you kind of come over to the left or somewhere, on, and you're like, well, what am I going to do next? And uh, there's a lot of options. There's, there's you know, not necessarily like the right option, but you, what, what do you see? Clear both sides or like make them equal with X? Not, give, me, give me some more words. I'm not quite sure what you mean by that. Uh, let's get X on one side. Okay, I would I would tell you, you while well, you could do that that it's not wrong. It would be better to combine. Oh, like combine like terms. terms. Yeah, and and so there's a bunch of like terms on the left you can combine. What does that become? On the left. All right, we have um two x and uh, minus eight. Okay. So you, you just said it, you combine like terms, usually simplifies what they want there. All right, so what uh, what's next here? What's uh, what are you doing? And you kind of you actually alluded to it already. You should move the axis. Yeah, so which way are you gonna move it? From the left to the right or the right to the left, doesn't matter. You could pick. 
Uh, we'll move it. Uh, move it to the right. Okay. So you tell me the new line here. Seven equals minus six X. That doesn't seem right. It is not right. Yeah. Um, so I, I agree with the, you know, first thing you do, okay, I'm going to subtract two X, subtract two X, but you're subtracting one from both sides. Minus eight, minus one. Oh, that's a negative nine. Okay. So tell me what to write. Negative nine equals uh, minus six X. Try again. Wait, as like the uh, understatements. Yeah, I'm, I'm, you didn't you didn't combine them correctly. It's eight x minus two x. You can see that over here. Oh, positive six. Okay, my fault. No. The answer or the reason is kind of like number two. What did you do to get to this step? Mm -hmm. What math operation did you use? Subtraction property of equality. Okay, good. So for the last one, you're going to give me the answer in reduced form. Negative three over two. Okay. And what is the reason? What did you do to get that step? Uh, I divided uh, X. So what's the reason? Would it be division property of equality still? Yes. Yep. Got it. Okay. Do you want another one like this that's maybe a little less? Yeah, the steps are like kind of the same. Okay, so here is your problem. I'm going to step away for like 30 seconds, but uh, see as far as you, see if you can get as see how far you can get. It's very similar to the last one. Be right back. I am back, so let me know if you have any questions as you're working throughout.
All right, I have three X equals zero. Okay, let's let's see. What did you do first? Did you clear the fraction like the previous one? Yeah, my first step, my first reason was given. Okay. Then I did multiplication, uh, property of equality. Um, okay, what did um, what did you get for that? Multiplied by three, I got. Yeah. Um. Three plus six x equals six x okay, minus so three x plus three. Okay, hang on. So you made the same mistake as the last problem. One third times three is three over one. Uh, so that's just one. Yeah. Okay, so that will change your answer a little bit. I mean, it's still the same steps, but. Three X equals two. Okay, keep going. And then division. I have three X over three equals two thirds. Would I flip the two no, thirds? No, that, no, it's okay. So what your step four is what? What tell me the Divisional. result of division uh property of equality. Well, before you do that though, you you probably simplified by combining like terms. Yeah. Okay. Now you're you're moving stuff. You're not dividing quite yet. Now okay. we're uh, this is the line where you have three x equals two. What's the what's the reason? What's the reason? And you said it's not for dividing. Well, no, you're not. You're not dividing. That's from three to four. We're moving x. Where we're yes, that's right. That's not dividing. Moving is a different operation. Like, tell me what you did to move the X. Subtraction. Yes. What did you do to move the one? Subtraction as well. Okay. So what is the reason? Subtraction property of equality. There you go. Okay. Now what's step five? What's the reason? Mm -hmm. Well, wait, is there a, like, hmm. How do you, how do you move the three this time? How do you undo the three in front of the X? Division. Okay, so what is the reason? Division property of equality. Yes. Any questions on that? No, yeah. I just messed up on the, like, right at the start. That's sort of what threw me off, but. Okay. So let's, let's do a couple of fraction multiplications just to get it down. What is uh, one half times four? Four over two, or two over one. 4 over 2, which becomes 2 over 1, which is 2. About uh, 1 third times a 12. 4 over 1. Times 4, good. Um, how about uh, 1 6 times 6? Six? 1. That's 1, good. Okay, any questions on that? No. All right. All right, let's move on to number well, B, 3B, completely unrelated to 3A. Weird, okay. All right. So 
the hardest thing here is to uh, draw the triangle. So I want you to draw an isosceles trapezoid tri triangle. I would draw it kind of the same. I, try, I tend to just draw my triangles like this acute, kind of like equilateral, but um, and I want you to label the vertices. So I want you to tell me where A, B, and C go based on based on this information. Okay. And then I also want you to label um, the sides with, with this right here. You don't have to solve. I just want you to try labeling your triangle. Would it be A and then B on A on top, uh, B on the right, and then C on the uh, left side? And it would, for C, B on the bottom, it would be 2X plus 5. Uh, yeah, so this is 2X plus 5. Um, and then it's also 11, which is weird. Um, Wait, how? Oh. I don't know why. I mean, this is kind of a weird problem, but whatever. Um, now, what about this two thirds x plus four? Where does that go? On the left hand side. Okay. All right. And then um, we want to first solve for x. Okay. So you're going to. You're going to use this bottom information here to solve for x, please. Would I make 11, like it's on, would, it, would I do 11 equals 2x? Plus, plus 5, five? Yes. yes. x equals 3. Okay. Very good. So now you can use that. You can use that information to find AC. So I'd like you to find AC next, the length of AC. What do I put on the left hand side of the equal? Like, oh, just AC. Yeah, what's the equation for AC? AC equals two over three X plus four. And do you know X? Yeah, plug that in. So go ahead and uh, solve for AC, please. AC equals six. Um, so you have two over three times three over one plus four is six. What is the length of AB? Well, does it not say that AB is equal to AC? Yes. So AB is also six. Good. Now we want the perimeter. The perimeter is the distance all the way around the triangle. So really the three sides. What are the lengths of the three sides? Uh, we've got three plus six plus six. So why, why three? Why is why are you using three? Is Was that three one of the lengths? That was for CB. CB is 11. Sometimes it helps to redraw the triangle with just the, just the lengths. What was the length C to B? 11. Yes. And you said that was 6. So what's the length from A to C? 6 as well. Okay. So what is the perimeter? 23. Okay, very good. Any questions on that? No, doing good. Okay. I kind of feel like we should do another one like that, but 
I'll, I'll look for some other problems. Right. Um, so the next one is actually related to the same triangle. So we're going we're to draw this again. A, B, C. Since these two, since these two sides are congruent, do you remember which angles are congruent? Would angles A, C be congruent with angles B, C or A, C? So you can use a single letter here because there's only one defined angle in each vertex. So which use the single letter here? Which two angles are congruent? C and B. That's right. The base angles. So it's it's like same sides, same angles, but they're referring to the base angles. Okay. So use that here. It says uh, measure. It says the measure of angle C is three y plus seven. A is 136, and B is 2Y plus 12. Find the value of Y and the measure of angle C. It actually, they actually gave you too much information here, but whatever. Can't, can't do anything about it. So I would, I would use the fact that the two base angles are congruent and solve for Y. So on top, I have A136, and then C is, do I write out that equation? You don't You don't need angle. I forget about that for a moment. Just set the two equations equal. This one's 3Y plus 7. This is 2Y plus 12 down here, but they're equal. So you can set the equations equal to each other. Y equals five. Sorry, we found the value of Y. Find the measure of angle C, you're gonna put that back in. Got it. Twenty two. Okay, now let's go back and look at the triangle. 136, 22, what is the other angle over here to the right? Let me solve it. Okay. 22 as well. Are you surprised by that? No. They're, they're congruent. With the isosceles. So the other way to do the problem was would be if you know that this was 136 and that these two angles are the same, you know that the three angles add up to 180. So 136 plus x plus x equals 180. You would have also found that x is 20, 22. So it all like it's all the same. Yeah, it all works out. Mm -hmm. All right, so um, if you want, you can send over some more stuff. I was looking for a couple of isosceles triangle problems for us to work on. I think would be good. We can do the isosceles triangles. I don't really have like much else to send That's over. That's fine. Yeah. All right, cool. Fine. So let me uh, draw another problem here. So let's say a CB equals um, 14. Mm -hmm. I want the perimeter of triangle ABC. So to solve for x on CB, I do 14 equals 3x minus 4, right? Yep.
and AB equals 18. So now we have 11 plus 14, or sorry, right, yeah, 18 they're... plus 14. Yeah, and those are congruent. You said AB and AC are congruent, or? Yes, yes, yeah, I forgot that. That is it's very important. So 18 times 2 is 36. 36 plus 11. 47. Uh, what what was the length of AB? 18. Okay, so what was the length of uh, AC? Oh, I added, I don't, I have 11 stuck in my head from the last problem. It's 36 plus, give touch, it's 50, right? What's the length of AC? 18. Okay. What's the length of CB? 14. Okay, so add them up and give me the perimeter. Forty. I heard forty. Yeah, forty. It's not forty. Then is it not fifty? It is fifty. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I must have said that too. So I I said that at the start, but all good. Uh, yeah. I, uh, yeah. I thought that I was misadding something. That's why I said 40. But yeah, 50. I got okay, that. Great. Great. All right. We're going to do another one here. I'm going to make that slightly different, though. So don't uh, don't use the same strategy here. Um, so these angles are the same, which means it's an isosceles triangle. I'm going to tell you that uh, AC this time equals... 32, and this is uh, 6x minus 25. And I want you to find the perimeter of triangle, triangle ABC. So my, you know, ask some questions. I made this one a little bit more difficult, so you may not immediately know what to do, but it's it's along the same same type of problem. Would I set 32 equal to these to solve them, or how would I get X? Okay, that, so that's, yeah, that's the whole question. So AC is AC is over here on the left, right? Do you have an yeah. equation for that, or expression for that? 32. Well, yeah, it's 32, but what is it? it but there's no expression with X, do you see that? No, there's not. But what, is, but what do we know about isosceles triangles? If the angles that's are the same... Equal. Sides are the same. So what is AC as a variable expression? X equals 32. Nope. AC is 32. The length is 32. Yeah. So if I were to, to change one letter here, would you know what to do? Yeah. Okay. Well, AC is equal to AB is equal to 32. X equals seven. Okay. I agree. So use that. From C use B. that to find the other sides as needed.
10 for CB? For what? CB is not 10. Six times seven is... Uh, 42. Uh, yeah. 42 minus 25. 17. All right. So now you want the perimeter? Do I do the perimeter now? 32 plus? Yes. Eighty-one. Is eighty-one that? Okay. All right. Another problem here. We're going to do perimeter again. I want the perimeter of triangle RST. And actually, uh, to be clear here, you should solve for Z first. I mean, you don't have to for what I asked for, but... Does that say like 2Z it. minus 15? It does, yeah. Z. And is... um Wait. What what sides are equal here? Is is R and T equal to S and T? Okay, yeah. I this couldn't tell awesome. based off... The, it was just slanted at a weird angle, but I got it. Okay. I think I'm probably doing something wrong because I'm not getting nine when I plug in. Um, well, you just said it. You said that RS is congruent to RT. So what, what's RS as an equation? Nine equals two Z minus 15. Okay. So negative 15, you do the opposite. You add 15 to 9. All right. Yep. Keep going. That equals 24. Okay. And then 2. I, I mean, I got 12, but what? Like, okay, that's fine. Is that fine? Oh, yeah, okay. Z is 12. That's oh, fine. That's not I the length that. of the side, though. That's just the value of the variable. Yeah. So now find the perimeter, please. Perimeter is 25. It is 25. Nice. Okay. All right. So what's your what's your game plan here to head into the final for studying? What 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 are you gonna do here to get your best score? 